Hello, my name is Zeke Garcia here at Phoenix Comic Con 2016. I'm here with Mike at Running With Scissors. That's nice to meet you, Mike. Nice uh, to meet you too. He's uh, Running With Scissors. If you don't know, they've uh, created Postal, Postal 2, Postal 3, and... We did not. Oh yeah, oh yeah, excuse me. <laughs> we got paid by somebody who poorly made posts. Right, some company in like, in the bum, yeah, in like Russia. some, some like snowy tundra in Russia. Right. Anyways, um, <laughs> we got Mike here and uh, they made some recent developments with uh, Postal 2 and even a re-release with Postal 1, uh, so tell us more about that. So uh, we got all of our games, Postal 1 and 2 on Steam back in 2012 and for whatever reason, hundreds of thousands of people, actually millions of people bought our game. And so we wanted to give these people more content. So last year we released an add-on to Postal 2. So 12 years after the game came out, we released a full add-on that's actually bigger than the original game and significantly better. Um, and next year's our 20th anniversary for Postal. The first one came out in 97. So we figured what's the best way to honor the game. And we remade Postal 1 in Unreal Engine 4. It's called Postal Redux. It's out now on Steam. So, And uh, uh, Postal 2, the best way I could describe it, it's basically think Grand Theft Auto um, yeah. and in first person and if you could pee on people yes and use cats as silencers on your gun yes exactly and gas cans basically it makes Grand Theft Auto look like Care Bears as I described it earlier uh, so Fair. really so uh, um, when you first made Postal 2 like uh, what was the initial reaction uh, when it was released well <clears throat> the first game got banned and blacklisted in a lot of countries so at the time, Postal 1 was the first game that was really truly violent in the way it was. So when Postal 2 came out, it wasn't. There was a lot of really big violent games. And we sort of expected, like, this will be accepted by the masses. But I guess because we are who we are, we're running with scissors, we made Postal. We put pissing in the game. We put animals as silencers on your guns. Like, it just didn't fly. And we still got that game banned in a lot of countries. Actually, Germany just removed all of our games off of Steam two days ago. Talk about like Nazi regime coming back again. I don't know what it's. I don't know. Censorship sucks, and uh, it's still live today. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And like when uh, when you were making this game, like back in uh, was it 2001? 2002. Yeah. 2002. Um, was it kind of? Were you kind of just expecting this kind of backlash? Uh, was it something you well, intended? Or we we didn't. So we we don't make games to piss people off. We don't make things that don't, we're not like doing this. And we're going this will fucking piss off these old ladies or this will make moms really mad. We're just like sitting around in the office stoned and making shit that makes us laugh. Like that's it. We don't, we know we don't make good games. We make funny games and usually they tend to be okay. Like we don't make AAA games. We don't make these blockbuster sellers that sell hundreds of millions of copies over their lifespan, but we make fun games that people have fun playing. Postal 1, not a funny game, but is fun to play. Postal 2, fucking hilarious. So, you know, it's, it's a different style and, you know, a lot of people were offended by it and that's just the way it is. I mean, it's a different time now, but there's still a lot of people out there that are easily offended by a lot of things, so. And thanks to the internet, we have a lot more apparently, so, yeah. If you give people a voice, their voice is usually used to bitch, so. If you know, if you look at our games on Steam, we've got these really high Steam ratings, 95% plus. For whatever reason, people don't bitch about our games on Steam. I don't know why. So thank you to all the fans out there. I think it's mostly because they just see it as a funny as hell game and not, you know, something to get pissed off at. Thank you. Uh, uh, yeah. And with, uh, um, with the new uh, add-on uh, being released uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, how are sales so far? Like, how was the response initially? The response is great. Uh, we have a 96% positive rating for Redux on Steam. Uh, Paradise Lost has a 94, no, 96% as well on Steam. So the fans love it. Um, the reviews on the press are, you know, mixed, but that's the way they've always been. We expect mixed reviews from the press. Postal 2 actually got a Guinness record for the most divisively reviewed game in history because we received a zero out of 100 from Computer Gaming World. They called Postal 2 the worst game foisted upon consumers until boxed syphilis. And we received 100 from another venue, so we were divisively reviewed, and the Guinness records actually acknowledge that. So, and uh, probably one of the funniest things about Postal 2, in general, you know, uh, speaking in terms of the quality of it, it's like I, I, I played it again, you know, and, it, and I still think it kind of holds up. Um, you know, yeah. the mechanics are there. Um, you know, the graphics, you know, even for the time, you know, we're we're pretty good. Yeah. Um, and and honestly, you know, I, I think like, you know, there. Not a lot of games, you know, incorporate, I guess, for lack of a better term, fun anymore. 
Um, yeah, I mean, gaming today versus gaming a long time ago involved very different aspects. I mean, we stood out even back then, too. So our humor is very different. We kind of like to just throw it in your face. And we don't, like, uh, we don't piss around. Like, we literally piss around. You know, we put pissing in the game. So, but, you know, that's, that's just our sense of humor around the office. And, and quite frankly, our vision's always been if you like it, great. If you don't, go fuck yourself. It's right. cool. I mean, we don't hate you. There's a lot of shit I don't like, too, so we understand right. when people don't like our stuff. Right, well, uh, needless to say, a lot of people are glad that Running Scissors is still active to this very day. A lot of people are pissed, too, oh. so we're yeah. fine with that. Yeah, <laughs> but, like, you know, it's funny because, like, a lot of people say, like, you know, this is kind of a, a niche company because they made, you know, a game like Postal. And, you know, it's just, I'm just very, you know, very glad, you know, that you guys are still around, you know. Cause I'm also glad yeah. that <laughs> I can still eat. So, you know, it's nice. It's right. nice. Uh, well, this has been uh, Mike from Running With Scissors. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much uh, for uh, doing this yeah. interview. Uh, Kate, you know, you guys are definitely badass. So, uh, hopefully we'll see you guys soon, all right? Yeah, thanks for coming by. Yeah, not a problem. You guys take care, all right? Thanks.